weaving through the city Sitting pretty and they don't slow down Easy. Hi everyone! And welcome to Nat's What I'm Cooking. My name is Natalie Williams. Um, I have a very special guest today who's going to be joining me in my kitchen right here in North London and I'm going to be making a very delicious recipe which I'm going to tell you about in a minute. But first of all, come closer, come and see what we have. We're going to be making, oh I'll tell you now actually, we're going to be making some awesome New Orleans style barbecue prawns which I happen to see are on Instagram with Harry Connick Jr. Harry Connick Jr. who I'm a huge fan of, his wife made them. They brought them out of the oven and it looked absolutely exquisite so I found an amazing recipe online and I'm going to teach you how to do it. And it's not only going to be me doing it, I've also got my very special guest. That's him! Oh my god, perfect timing, perfect timing. Okay, so here he is. Yes, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. He's here, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! Oh. Welcome to my humble abode. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> it's amazing how they sell wine, very good wine, on the underground. On the now, underground. Good, it's the it? future, babe. It's the future. It's the future, Ladies isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, welcome Mr. Ian Shaw. How lovely. How lovely to see you. Let me take your... Yeah. Oh, you're fully ready I'm, prepared. I'm, I'm ready, yes. Let's cook, babe. Let's cook. I am your Johnny. You're my Fanny. <laughs> you're too young for that, aren't you? I don't you? get it yet. Fanny Craddock, everybody. Fanny Craddock. Fancy doing... Here I am. Oh, thank you very much. Fancy thank doing... Um, Natural woman. Well, why not? Looking now on the morning way.
Ladies and gentlemen, again, the amazing Mr. Ian Shaw, or who I like to call Ianovich. The Slavic origins. The Slavic origins. As you know, I'm, I'm, I used to have a Yugoslav passport, a former Yugoslavia passport. Did you? I did. Well, we could do that now, right well, now. Well, no, because obviously now it would be Serbia. Yeah. Serbia's not in the EU. I'm trying for my Hungarian passport. Yeah. Anyone out there can help me get my Hungarian passport pronto. And if anyone wants to, any Irish priests out there, I'm, I'm up for marriage. You got... So. <laughs> It's the only way I'm going to get. Oh no, it's such a problem. Anyway, anywho, so. It's lovely to be in your kitchen. Thank you. It's quite a long it's, kitchen. It's isn't galley, it? but it's kind of galley on. It's a double galley. It's a double galley. Yeah, yeah. double galley. Yeah. And um, so there's this thing, obviously, on Instagram uh, and Facebook and all those things. You follow these people that you love. I follow Harry Connick Jr., who I used to be a massive fan of. And I always used to think maybe I might get married to him when I was a lot younger. Um, alas, that didn't happen, but I've got, happen. I've got a better one up there in the studio, so it's fine. Yeah. Um, but he's got this, he's got this lovely wife called, who, called Jill, um, and she's uh, a former model, actually. Did you know that? She I didn't a, know that, no. She was a really, like, oh. super hot, she still is super hot model. And she, uh, she made this dish, which was New Orleans barbecue shrimp, and he did a little film of her pulling out of the oven. It was this big old... Thing, a tray of like sizzling prawns that look like juicy, lemony, garlicky, all that situation. So I ended up finding the recipe online. And come, come, come towards me, darling, come, come. And here we are with all the ingredients for all the things that we need. This is a different thing that we don't need. So we've got, we need to make a, a, a Cajun kind of Creole um, little. May I say it's situation. a very, very well. Um, a pointed kitchen you've got here. Thank you. Can I show you my special? <laughs> can I show you? This is what I've been doing on lockdown, ladies and this gentlemen. This is the highlight, isn't it? This is the highlight. Some of them are faded because I use the like Turkish red pepper flakes so much. But this has been my lockdown project. Most spices and herbs will be in this very cupboard. Um, ask me a question. Ask me what. Try well, you, ask the, me one that that you might think I might not have. And well, like. there's the great um, Welsh herb which is called. Um, yeah, we got that one in there. <laughs> nice! I, yeah, I do. <laughs> it's discovered by drunken Welsh people in hedgerows of Abersoch. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, that I mean, I got, I just got a bit in, I got into it, didn't I? And I had nothing to do, and that's what I did, so there you go. Anyway, so what we need to do, um, here um, is... I'm going to go here. Yeah, you go there. So here are the, the prawns. I've got some lovely tiger, oh. big old tiger prawns, shells on. I thought... I'll take the shells off some of them so that you know when you've got a big situation for yeah. the prawns and you have to like peel them all. Well, some people are a bit funny about them. Um, I'm not great at getting them, you know, getting them naked. Getting them naked. So here yeah. are the naked ones for you. Yeah. But the thing is that the shells and the heads give it give the juice a lot of flavour. If only prawns, when they were alive, <sighs> appreciated that when they were cooked, they become the most delicious pink colour. Because when they're alive, they're, they're just grey. Yeah, they're grey and dull, and who knew? I hope you enjoy your wine, which you found That's on the tube, but I've, I've found mine here. Tell Cheers. me about this. Obviously, that was a little bit of a ruse, a little bit of a cheeky little ruse. <laughs> but this is a really lovely wine. It's, it's, a it's lovely golden. Wine. What is it? Live in my life, drink of my wine like it's golden. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's from St. John's. St. John's is an amazing restaurant yeah. in Farringdon. Yes. And um, they do everything, you know, they do incredible bread. They do yeah. amazing, very simple cooking, but like proper, honest, honest food. Yeah. And they've got amazing wines. And this is actually a little yeah. bag in the box. Fergal, that's his name, isn't he? He was the, Fergus, Fergus was the Fergus, original chef. Yes. You do the best um, Australian. I remember you telling me about the different ways of saying risotto. Risotto. Right, um, sorry to... Um, this is looking I exciting just, already. Okay, so I'm going to talk you through this whilst looking at my iPhone and I'm not looking at my messages, I'm looking purely at the recipe. So what I'm going to do is uh, chop these bloody green onions or scallions yeah. or spring onions or whatever you want to call it. Fish bash bosh. You're quite good at that without severing a limb. Well, <laughs> the guy who's filming is a professional chef. I'm feeling very <laughs> This is true. <laughs> I'm very self-conscious. <laughs> so, it's one and a half sticks of butter. Three, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put this all in. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's yeah. a lot. It's a lot. It's not diet food. No. But it's delicious. And yeah. Is butter, that unsalted or salted? It's salted. It's salted. I believe in everything uh, being salted. Yeah. My chocolate needs yeah. to be salted. <laughs> <laughs> My everything needs to be sorted. Should I put it all in? Yeah. yeah. Come on. I'm putting it all in. It's all in. All in. So the main ingredient in this wonderful recipe is the lovely 
Lean parents was just was just was just. So Lean parents being Welsh, you see. Just, I'm no stranger to the Lean parents because my mother used to make Welsh rabbit with um um kind of I suppose. Um, stale bread, old milk, and cheap cheese sauce. And uh, was there any ale involved? No, but that's... But that's, that's the thing, isn't it? it like is, yeah, or, yeah, 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 yeah. I love, I love yeah. Welsh rabbit, as I used to call it, because I didn't know that it was called rabbit for oh, so sorry. long. What are words, things like Welsh rabbit, that you've kind of said wrong phrases or, or misheard lyrics? I always love that game. I always think it's a really funny... Well, I... So, well, ironically and sadly, because um, uh, it's pretty un-PC, if that's even something that you can say these days, but I grew up on... I Enid, love un-PC. I know. Enid Blyton and yeah. Enid Blyton books, and there were some strange words in there. They used to say things like, Gosh, Dick, you fazziad, pass me the ginger pop. And I said, what's a fazziad? And of course it's fathead. <laughs> fazziad. And the other one in there was misled. The, the the George George and Anne ran down to the beach, and they ha they cut their feet on the rocks, and they were very misled by the root. Misled, 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 misled. That is so cute. Mizzled. I love that you have these ready to go. And I, I see this question that was not planned actually at all. No, wow. Mizzled. I made those, and also oh ornament, ornaments. I used to think ornaments for ornament, ornament, ornaments, 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 because you put them in order on the mantelpiece. Oh, this is fucking brilliant! I love it. Great. Okay, so we've got the um, we've got the butter on the go. Um, that's an entire slab of butter. I'm now adding olive oil. Oh my goodness! So it's when this isn't this is no joke. I'm adding the olive oil. Also, if you add the two together, I'm just going to say this and pretend that it's true. It it won't burn. It's less likely to burn. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think as well. Um, I always love the flavour of olive oil, so I'm not I'm not going to be shy here. We've got a lot of prawns to get through. Mm. Here we go. So I always believe that more is more. Okay. So I always think just a lot to mm, everything, mm, mm. which Rob, my husband, doesn't always agree with. No, I just think no. More just, is not always more. No, but. No. But I just I think that's the truth and nothing but the truth. So here we go. So this is <laughs> the Worcester's going in with the fat. The Worcester's going in <coughs> with the fat. The Worcester's going in with the fat. So it's breaking up the. I don't know what it's doing. It's just going to be delicious. Like that's an what acidic it's doing. edge. Here we it's, go. It, it's the most brilliant thing, isn't it, Liam Perrins? Liam Perrins, what a funny yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean. And it's. It's turning the colour of um, a pint of Guinness, to be honest. I mean, it's a pint looks, of Guinness it, it in the pan. It looks kind of gross, but it is going to be delicious. This is a tried and tested thing. Yeah. Basically, it's so easy. You know what I love about this recipe is combine all ingredients in a saucepan. In a saucepan. And off you plop. Yeah, so it. bay leaves. <coughs> bay leaves next. Um, not bay leaves. Not the drink. That'd be bay weird. leaves. Bay leaves. We've got a bay leaf. You, bay leaf tree. You have a beautifully. Isn't it lovely? Yes, yes, it's beautiful. It's, it's got such a good. It's, stu it's perfectly it's, round. Well, it's to it's topiary to all intents and caravans. I don't know what that means. <laughs> topiary is the art of um, uh, it's sculpting uh, hedges, basically. Mm. You know. Edward Scissorhands. Yes. Right. In go the bay leaves. In go the bay leaves. In go the bay leaves. Okay. Then six cloves of garlic. In goes the garlic, in it goes, and it goes, and it goes. Lovely, delicious. Mm. I'm adding the scallions. <coughs> scallions going in. Yep, going yep. in, going in, going in. Going around, going twice. So, four teaspoons of garlic powder. Bring it on. Four teaspoons of that. Four please. teaspoons of this. Four. One. They're quite heaped, two, so I'll do three and a half, really. Three. Yeah. Maybe. There you go. Yeah. Four teaspoons of onion powder. But then sweet paprika, two tablespoons, my love, please. Thanks for coming. Two tables. Two, two tables, tables. Two tablespoons. That's quite a lot of paprika, isn't it? It is. Uh, yeah, I might. Yeah, so and then yeah. Two and then this a tiny touch of it. This is Creole seasoning. Okay, Creole is obviously the New Orleans thing. Mm. Two teaspoons of dried oregano. I'm going to leave the, mm. the time out, the dried time. Can I tell you why? That smells amazing. Go on then, tell me why. I think dry time sometimes smells a bit mouldy, okay. tastes a bit mouldy. I don't love it. Fold I like fresh time, I don't like dry time so much. Two teaspoons of cayenne pepper. 
It's weird because it's kind of doubling up this whole thing, to be honest. Wow. I've put most of these in anyway, but this is like a Creole. Two teaspoons. Right. Seasoning that it also wants for whatever reason, so I'm just going to do yeah. it in cold. And then and one then... and a half teaspoons of salt. Oh, that's a lot of salt. One and a half, so one and a half of that salt. Is, that is obviously, the, not all of this goes in, it's going to be like one tablespoon of that stuff. That is right. also added to the thing. I'll Here just stir this. I'll just stir do this. You want, yeah, you, yeah. you do a little stirrage. Stirrage, yeah, yeah. Actually, they are lovely colours. So this is an entire block of butter. Entire with block of butter. Worcester sauce, bay and scallions. And garlic. And garlic, of course, the garlic. And scallion. obviously some, and now I'm putting in some lemon juice. It's two tablespoons, but I'm just going right. to... Off, you're yeah. gonna wing it. I'm gonna wing it like I wing everything. I'm not very good at sticking to recipes. I kind of just do what I do and whatever feels right. You kind of get the sense of it, don't you? Yeah. Then you do the sliced bit of sliced um, lemons as well. It's a very sharp knife. Ta da! So now we have the delicious sauce. We're going to uh, we've cooked it on the hob. I'm gonna take it off and pour it over my delicious tiger prawns. Make sure it's all really well coated. There we go. Make sure all the sauce is out there. Oh, I'll just put this aside. It's fine. Kind of baste them, and in the oven they go. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The prawns in the cajun lovely sauce. We put it in the oven, and I'm going to say about 15 minutes max on about 200. In it goes. Yay! Donkey, 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 I will post this this time, it's not a live stream, so I'm going to post it underneath the old video um, and uh, you can have a little ch check it out and try it, mm. it's going to be delicious. Bon appétit, darling. Brilliant. This is the song 
that you always sang and that I always thought I want to sing it before I'm not this age anymore and now I am this age. <laughs> Here it goes. One of Ian's most incredible songs ever. Be best lyrics. Best lyrics. Listen to the lyrics. I've lied to save face. I've settled some scores. I've cried to show grace. I've cried on all fours. Traveled to love. Righted some wrongs. Kept head above. I've copied the strong. Whiskey in your cup of vodka in mine. We won't break the house up. We'll talk until night. And we'll dive into town like the desperate two. We're older, not wiser. Stay 42. My intentions are good. I do the best that I can. Well, I try to be faithful. Cause I love my way. We cover our secrets with a drink and a smile. Song that is. Woo! It's the lyric, it's the 
Oh yeah, sorry, I messed one of some things up there, but um, <laughs> it was a bit that uh, it's that that yeah, which is my favourite line. Yeah, I've tried to be faithful because I love my old man. That's mm. the one, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. the line. Mm. All of it. I've cried on all fours. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's, it's quite imagery. visceral, that isn't it? It's I mean, just like, ah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so good. I'm glad you like it, and I'm sure. I mean, it's, Leanne would be thrilled as well. Oh, it's so good. It's thrilled. We were going to do, and we're going to do a video of it with Leanne and I in a laundrette. And on the original, Gabriella Swallow played the oh, yeah, yeah. played oh, the cello. Yeah, right. yeah, we're going to have her on top of the on top of one of the, the dryers in That's the laundrette. Brilliant. Scraping away. Oh, you need yeah. to do that. Yeah. You should yeah. do it. It's, I love a laundrette thing. That's but you know what I should do? I should record it with everyone that's 42. 42 at the time, yeah. <laughs> I mean, everyone. Traffic yeah. wardens, cheese sellers. <laughs> Fishmongers. Exes, you know. <laughs> Gardeners. Yeah, fishmongers. Excuse me. <laughs> so for this episode, Ian, sitting over there having his lovely prawns, I've actually decided to make a dessert, which I never make. Because desserts is like science, do you know what I mean? But I know I have a recipe from my friend Ali, um, and he told me that we have to make a bamery of chocolate. So we've got 240 grams of chocolate. It's actually a really good quality chocolate as well. Uh, we're going to make a bamery, which you know how that goes. You put the water in there, so we're going to do that now. 195 grams of butter, bitches. This is what we do. We take the butter. We put it 195 grams. Now we add the butter to the bain marie. Bain marie, bain marie, bain marie, bain marie, bain marie. <laughs> this is a really low calorie uh, recipe. So you just take a tiny bit of butter and a tiny bit of chocolate out and, and you just do a bain marie and you make melt it all together and it's just a tiny little amount of cal calories here we are we are here is the bain marie butter and chocolate now what we are doing is adding the sugar okay we add the sugar a lot of sugar as i said it's a really low calorie diet um ian do you like low calorie food uh, love it, love it, yeah, love it. Yeah, love it. done meal. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, I've done the bambari, I've done the chocolate and the butter and the sugar. Now I add five eggs, okay? Wash one, mix one in gently, 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 like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and two. Uh, I'm gonna measure. To uh, flour, 75 grams of flour, people. 75 grams of flour, Ian, is that okay? That's very good, yeah. Is that okay? You're happy with that? 75 grams of 75 flour. 75 grams. You know what that looks like, 75. Mr. Ian Shaw, Lord Shaw, yes, Lord yes, Shaw, Lord yes, Shaw, yes, Lord Shaw, yes, please yes, may I have yes, some civvage yes. of yes. the flour into the sauce, thank you. Oh yes, so I... Tippy 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 Ladle it in. I'm going to go about halfway, I reckon. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. That looks about right. And I'm going to go like this. Yeah? And in it goes. I'm just going to make two. Me and Ian. Because we love each other. The thing about chocolate fond fondant, fondant, whatever you want to call it, is the melty in the middle section. And you need to make sure it melts. If it doesn't melt and pop out the middle, then fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm putting it in on 210, 210. Right? Top shelf. Here we go. 
Then it goes for how long? 11. 11 minutes. That's going to be 50. Okay, 11 minutes. Uh, what else is there? Oh! Big Aretha fan. Okay. Now, that, that song, I remember when I first came to London, I got that album Sparkle. The album is from, it's from a movie called Sparkle. Oh. And it's just phenomenal. I think it's, I think it's a Quincy produced thing. I mean, it's, oh. he produced Hey Now Hey, The Other Side of the Sky, which well, has got well. that amazing, yeah. yes. You know, she goes, she goes, there's, there is a place for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when are you going to sing the next, when are you going to sing the next phrase? Oh, what is that? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. But you know how I, <clears throat> this song, funnily enough, I'm, I hate to say it, it's one of those things where I heard En Vogue sing it. Yeah. And <clears throat> I was like, what is this song? And I loved it, you know, yeah. Amazing Girl Group when I was growing up, like in the 90s, yeah. that was one of my favourite things. And then I found out it was a new Reefer song and I was like, ah, oh, yeah. that makes totally sense. It's funny, isn't it? It's a good one.
magic. The ball Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> darling, sweetie, darling. Here we go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put one here, one here. The moment of truth. We put the plate on the thing. Ah. I've never, you can tell I've never done this before. So I'm gonna put the um, I'm gonna put the, the ice cream on the side, but my on the top. I'm gonna put the ice cream on the top. <laughs> I do as I'm told. And then I'm gonna do like this. And it's gonna be rustic, okay? You cool with that? It's just gonna go like that. But as out of interest, is it a chocolate fondant or is it not a chocolate fondant? So fuck. Yes, it's chocolate fondant, bitches. I want to, I want to do a Nigella. <laughs> Who needs a restaurant when you're coming to Nats while I'm cooking? Thank you and good night. <laughs> Upstairs in the studio. Yeah. Do you feel? Yeah. Do you feel? <laughs> oh, you know what? It was just Christmas, wasn't it? Oh, it was just Christmas. Christmas was a funny one, wasn't it? Yeah, it Covid-y was. Covid-y Christmas. Yeah, because of course it was the first Covid Christmas, wasn't it? On the first Covid Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> no presents. No presents, no family, but it was what it was. But this song is always going to make everything alright, isn't it? Every single Joni Mitchell song under the sun. <laughs> I'm afraid I do. It's coming on Christmas, cutting down trees, putting up reindeer, singing songs of joy and peace. Oh, I wish I had a river. I could skate away
darkness where's that at if you want me I'll be in the bar on the back of a guy doing a ghost of love in the blue TV screen light I drew a map of Canada say bye-bye. We can't have that. No. I made my baby say hello again, hello again. And that's what I'm cooking, that's what I'm cooking, yeah, that's that cool. is what I'm cooking. 